He got Troy Fish Slim Becker here out full moon. Had a nice south wind blowing. Found me a channel with a push. Again, found me a cut eddy with some slack. Had bait in it. I'll tell you what, they've been biting since dark. She says it was getting to dark. I've hit four or five in a row. All I'm doing is I got it cast out right now. Just throwing it over in the slack area. I pulled it down all this time. All it's been doing is sitting there. So now all I'll do is tighten up till I feel it a little bit. And then I'll give it a couple little rolls. Let it sit. Got the full moon out tonight, man. I wasn't real sure how the bite was going to be. It's been great. I've got some 20, 21s, but a lot of nice eaters. Tighten back up. You see I'm letting it sit by me five, six seconds. Give it another roll. There he is. There he is. There's one. It's on the Berkeley hit stick. Oh, yeah. There we go. Not real big, but just to let you see, it's a little live report. They are eating. What we got here? Let's see if we can get him in. He might be a sidewinder. You know them small ones? Yep. Now, you guys have asked about this. This is a perfect example of what we're going to talk about. You see how small he is? What happens? He comes flying into this bait while it's sitting there. And does a quick turn. And his tail whips. He's got this in the front hook. In his mouth. Next one's in the side. That's what we call these the uh, short strike. Or these hitters that hit real hard and fast. And you go, God, that was a big one. Like that one I thought it was. Nope. Just a peewee. Who side swiped that Berkeley hit stick and the way it goes back in. And that just shows you they are biting guys. It works if you're patient. You tune the bait and uh, get it out there and let it sit and then just give it a couple short little wiggles, pulls to make it like it's a dying minnow and they're just coming up and smacking on it. The big one's been sucking it hard though. They've been hitting it really good. Tight lines guys.